<clears throat> hey coaches, welcome to our fit family. Uh, just a quick message for you today, um, kind of an impromptu video, but um, I wanted to talk to you briefly about getting out of your comfort zone and give you an example that I actually have just experienced today. Um, when you hear this statement, um, the magic happens when you get out of your comfort zone, I'm here to tell you that that is not a lie and it's not a cliche or anything like that. Um, it truly, truly does make a huge difference when you push yourself outside of what you're comfortable doing. As an example, <clears throat> a lot of new coaches, um, they tend to stay entirely in their warm market when they're talking to people. So they start with their friends, their family, maybe coworkers, or just sort of branch out loosely from there, but it's all people that you generally know. And when you start hearing you know, no's or not right now's from all those people, it can be discouraging. So my recommendation to you as a potentially new coach is to not um, limit yourself to your warm market, to early in your coach career, uh, begin a plan to tap into your cold market. Um, we can talk about strategies to do that in a different uh, video. But my point is, is that let's say um, you're talking to someone that you don't know, a stranger, um, and you're trying to get to know them, what I think about when I'm talking to cold market people is that, you know, I don't know them at all. I haven't, um, I don't have a long lasting relationship with them yet. I, um, I don't have any, you know, past history or fear of them judging me because if they judge me and suddenly aren't my friend anymore, it's not like we've spent, you know, 20 years side by side as, as pals. So I feel like your cold market is a really low risk way to try out new strategies that may be outside of your comfort zone versus trying those on people that you, you know, know and plan to have in your life for the long haul. So before I get super long winded, as always, um, I'll, t I'll give you an example. Um, lately I've been receiving a lot of friend requests on Facebook from people that I don't know. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is happening, but I've gotten a lot of friend requests coming in. A lot of them are men, right? So I had one guy, literally a uh, nice gentleman who's here in town, um, friend me and strike up a conversation out of the blue. Um, turns out he didn't realize I was married and basically was, you know, looking to get to know somebody potentially for a relationship. So uh, basically he was trying to pick me up. Um, so instead of being like, oh, oh my God, this guy's trying to pick me up, right? And freak out and delete him or block him or whatever. Um, I just, you know, had a, a candid conversation with him and said, look, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm married, but, um, you know, thanks anyway. And before we, before we, you know, closed our conversation and, and ended it right there, I sent him this message, which is way outside my comfort zone. I said, you seem like a cool guy, fearless in making new friends. I run a health and fitness business where connecting with people is an essential skill. I'm sure you're totally happy with what you do for work, but if you're open to checking it out, you might be a great fit for our company. Think, it, think on it and let me know. I'll send you some info. I'm off to my next meeting. Cheers, Becky. Um, and literally, so I just sent that. I was like, what the heck, right? It's true. I am terrified to strike up new conversations with people. I would never have the confidence to pick somebody up on social media. Um, that is a bold person and a bold skill um, that just needs to be directed into the right activities like business building instead of, you know, searching for a date. Um, so long story short, you know, this customer is someone that I just this morning have sent our business opportunity webinar to. Turns out he's into health and fitness and is interested in becoming a coach. So I feel like I should title this video, how to turn a creeper into a coach, <laughs> but um, that would be really awkward if he uh, does decide to join our team this week. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that as an example. So talk to people, talk to anybody. You never, never know. And be bold enough to put the invite out there, especially if it's someone that is an acquaintance or a brand new you know, stranger that you've met. There's no risk if they say no, Whatever. You may or may not ever see that person again. So there really should be no fear in extending that invite, especially to people in your cold market. It's a fantastic place to practice, you know, trying out new approaches, saying new things, failing gloriously and getting as many no's as you can. Um, again, because there's no risk. And so that means that eliminates the fear. 
So just wanted to leave you with that idea. Um, I'll put the text of what I sent to him in, uh, in the comments of this video so you guys can use that as a script if you want to uh, try it out um, with anybody that you have that approaches you, maybe in a, in a non, I don't know, anybody that approaches you. But I uh, hope this helps, hope it gives you an idea. And my challenge to you is to go try this out on two people this week. All right, have a great day coaches. I hope you're doing awesome. I will talk to you soon.